All right, so let's just start this off by saying a big thank you to everybody out there for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. I say us, because this channel is a part of you as much as it's a part of me. We all kind of do this together. Your comments, everything kind of drives everything to where it's gonna go. And I like everybody to feel a part of the Hammerdown Motorsports team. So with you guys on board, we hit over 10,000 subscribers and that is a huge milestone for me. I never thought we were ever gonna get there when I first started this channel. So all I can say is thank you. And what we're gonna be doing now is the 10,000 subscriber giveaway as promised. So what I've decided to do is we're going to have a grand prize which is going to include a Hammerdown Motorsports t-shirt of your choice color style and all that kind of stuff and we're going to throw in some stickers in there as well and the first prize is going to be either a hundred dollars or a snap-on flashlight like the one that you've seen me use in other videos it has kind of the long led on it or you can use just the regular flashlight part but it's rechargeable it's from the snap-on truck it is worth more than a hundred dollars so i did a poll on instagram and more people wanted the flashlight than the hundred dollars but i'm going to let the first prize winner decide what they want whether they want a hundred dollars cash or they want that flashlight and as well as the t-shirt stickers and all that kind of good stuff the second and third prize is going to be just a hammer down motorsports t-shirt and stickers and that is going to be the second two people that respond to notice that they're a winner so it's all going to go like that first person to respond is going to get the big prize so definitely if you get a response from me that you are a winner definitely get back to me as soon as possible for your chance to win the hundred dollars or the snap-on flashlight and also, if you aren't fortunate enough to be one of the winners of the giveaway, we do have t-shirts, stickers, hats, all available on HammerdownMotorsportsUSA.com. So if you ever want any merch from the channel, definitely show your support over there and check it out. So as far as Truck Central goes, for those of you who don't know already, I am one of the owners of Truck Central as well as Guitar Mageddon ZL1. And we're going to be doing more content with that channel as well. We do have the green F-150, the beast mode truck from Truck Central at the Hammerdown Motorsports shop. So if you haven't seen the videos on that truck, definitely go over to Truck Central and drop in the comment section. What do you want to see done with that truck? I do have a little bit of a jump built, maybe specifically for that truck, maybe not. That might be an idea that we can take that thing and try to get a little bit airborne, but we basically want to do some crazy fun things with that truck. So if you guys have any ideas, go over to the Beast Mode videos on Truck Central, drop in the comments, what are your ideas that we should do that truck? And I'm saying anything, anything goes with this thing, let's do it, let's have some fun with it, and let's make some awesome content that you guys wanna see for that truck. Just gonna do a quick stop in here at Walmart. I gotta grab some oil for an oil change coming up. And I'm probably not gonna be filming inside because if I had a dollar for every time I got yelled at for filming in Walmart, I'd probably have like three or four dollars by now. All right, we got all of our oil, and actually Walmart's a pretty good place to buy oil. If you want Mobile One or anything like that, they've got some pretty good buying power and get pretty good deals. All right, here we are at Westies. Let's go see what he's up to. It's hard to find parts for that thing. Yeah, pretty much what I should have done. Yeah. Well, something that yeah. his previous owner realized it should have been destroyed. Well, yeah, but then I saw... That's how you wound up with it. Yeah, exactly. But I'm not a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> All the most expensive beat-up Reno in the world by the time I'm done, but it's going to run. What are you going to do with this Reno? Sell it, probably. If it doesn't sell, then maybe we'll do some crazy things with it. I don't know. What's the Reno worth? Uh, they say it's worth a little over two grand, so... I would say if I can make a hundred two on my labor and break even on the parts, I'll be all right with it. Learning experience. Yes. <laughs> Don't make impulse buys on go part. Yeah. Let's see what's going on here with our uh, amp steps, buddy. Got a new hat. Ooh. It's a yeah. blue one. I haven't seen the blue one before. Blue one. Look at that. You should have TSE's hats that say that on it. That's right, brother. I will. That'd be awesome. People will buy that. Yes, sir. Let's see what we got here. See if we can make Steve happy. So we got the nice ram outside. Toddy's getting me some steps. That's right. We've been waiting for a little bit for him, so we're gonna check on the status here. And that's the problem, steps. folks, with buying a brand new vehicle. Sometimes yeah. you gotta wait on parts. Unfortunately. I wish <laughs> I wish I just checked the box and it came with power steps. <laughs> now I gotta go through all the motions of getting it put on. That'll be your getaway, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't wait for the shop to be done. It's gonna be I awesome. I can't wait either. You're gonna have to come by and see it sometime. I will, Steve. -O. Right on, brother. All right, brother. Man. Let me know when the steps come in. Yes, We're sir. gonna get that Dodge all done up. All right, take care, people. Right on. All right. Later. Later, brother. 
Later, let me know when I got a Suzuki head. All right, so we got our valve guides dropped off. It is all in their capable hands now to get that head put back together, machined up, ready to go, and then we can put the cams in, seals, and all that kind of good stuff, and continue on with that project. So now let's go head up to DFR. I saw Andy drive by. Let's go bug him for a minute. So we got the Honda, the old Dirty Max. Hello? Demonetize already. Demonetize already. Oh, I just walked in the door. First 15 seconds, man. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. 10, Appreciate it. Awesome. Yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, we got there finally. Yeah, it took a while, but we got there. Yeah, I'd rather uh, sooner than later, but you know, yeah. is what it is. Definitely. How's things going around here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> These are more summer toys, so yeah. I got the same thing going on. I got mine under a cover. Sitting in the shop, so. Lift car showed up. He needs a fuel pump. Nice. Quick, easy job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most yeah. of it's just big project stuff, like that yellow Camaro. I have a black. Fit, I got two fit jets here that are big jobs. Oh yeah. But I want to get him done. I want to get this thing done and out of here, so I can. I want to clear out all this on the side. Yeah. And that's why I got the red car out of here. I nice. Clear all this out because then I can bring both those Camaros in and have them sit inside of me. Get it all sorted out. Yeah. But then I hurt my arm. What'd you do? Thing. Oh no. Dude, I ripped my tendon. Did you really? Dude, I was like, I was like this. When it was sent over there, I was like, I was pushing it back by myself and I overextended it. You wanna it know went, pop, pop. Oh no. Dude, I stopped. I was like, that was Friday. That happened Friday. You wanna know a trick? What? Push on the wheel. But I was pushing on the wheel. Like you just just, just put grab it yeah, from one like, side. I really? I was pushing on the wheel. But when I was I guess what happened was I must have the roller must have hit the crack in the ground. Oh, it and stopped. When it, happened, it stopped and I went like this. I oh, no. up on myself. Oh, yeah. Dude, I heard it. It was like pop, pop in my arm. And I'm like, that's not good. Feeling now, better now? I've been like this. I was outside and almost cried. <laughs> no way. Dude, it, I had to go to the hospital, man. It that's sucked. crazy. They wanted to see an orthopedic to see if they, like, it's broken. Like, there's a, they were saying that there's like, um, there's some of it's attached, some of it's not. The rest of oh, yeah. The and there's liquid in my arm now. Yeah, so I've been, this oh. whole week, I've been just trying to take it easy. Coming in here, doing a little bit of stuff, cleaning up a little bit, trying to organize a little bit. Right, right. Like today and shit. So yeah. That's kind of happening. It's not really snow weather for a snow vehicle. Yeah, get it off the ground and everything. See, now you got rid of your sled, it's going to snow. Yeah, I got rid of The sled's gone, the trailer's gone. There's the sad little hole where the it's, sled used to it's live. It's so much nicer because you can like, do jumping shots. So much room for activities. <laughs> I just can't wait to like... Like that corner and that corner. I just can't wait to like clear it out. The guy, yeah. dude, remember the V6 supercharged engine? Yeah. yeah. He con he finally contacted me and he's like, hey, he's like, uh, I'm going to come get that engine and trans. I'm like, please. Yeah, please right. Please come get the engine and trans. Get it out of the way. I got that. I got that BOP motor sitting down there. I'm, I'm junking so much stuff. I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. You don't need a clutter. It's just a waste. Else. Like I, I keep it and it's like. You'll, you'll learn with your yeah, garage. Yeah, exactly. Learn. It's already you're full. You'll be like, yeah, you'll be like, oh, you know what? This this stock camshaft, I could use this for something. Uh huh. And then all of a sudden, you have five of them sitting there, like. <laughs> now what do I do with this? What do I do with five stock camshafts or whatever? You know what I mean? Oh, it's no. just, and it's always been like that for years. It sucks. Yeah, I've got cars. I got stuff everywhere. I just got to get rid of some stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, I might do that project on that, or I might do this, and then yeah. it sits for five years, and mm -hmm. you're like, yeah, I never did mm -hmm. anything with it. So. Oh yeah. well, we'll see. We'll, we'll, this is, I mean, this is a big shop. It's just. Oh yeah. There's a lot of junk. There's a lot of junk piling up in there. Is what the problem was. Yeah, I remember we cleaned it out. Like how many? Oh what, my god, yeah, two that, years ago. That back corner, yeah, we all yeah. cleaned out that whole back corner back there. Yeah. I, I do remember that. That was after we got the Ventura out of here. Remember? Yeah. And we pushed the Ventura. No. There's the. The there's, Ventura was there. The Mustang was here. Uh huh. Which is another big project. So the Ventura, we pushed that up here. I remember that. We pushed yep. that up here and we cleaned that whole damn corner out. And then pulled the Mustang it. out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's back. Totally, yeah, look, look at this over here. Yeah, totally trash. We're just like exactly totally back to over the place. Yeah, exactly back to where it was. But look at this. I even got empty cook boxes I haven't thrown out yet. Oh man, I don't even know why. Yeah, well, I mean, you got to fill the space up with something, right? You got to. Then people, people were like, "Oh my god, the shop looks so empty." So I just throw trash everywhere. Yeah, exactly. Nothing like, wrong yeah, with that. Yeah, the shop's not empty anymore, guys. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what's the plans for this guy? Just waiting. I need well. I need tires for the, these wheels. I need a drag pack. Yeah. Just waiting for the weather to break to do some drag racing again with it. 
Yep, you'll have to line up with me, see what happens. I'm not. I don't know if I spin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I am hoping you spin. <laughs> <laughs> with drag radios on it, with actual like slicks, I ain't gonna be spinning. Yeah. But, um, I only spun my slicks once, and that was when it was really cold. Well, yeah, this kind of weather, you don't wanna. It's like I started up yesterday and just had it running just to kind of get the fluids moving and stuff. Yeah. I did this. I did that with the bike today. Just kind of started it up and let it run. And I don't like letting things sit too dang long, not not running. For yeah, this, this car only sat for how many years? Six years. Six, six, six years. years. Yeah, that's. But didn't have any fluid. It's in it, time though. now, right? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to drive it. Steve has a set of used uh, <clears throat> street R's he's given me. Oh, is he? Yeah, so I'm gonna take these. These tires are trash from all the burnouts and stuff. They're trash. But I want to drive around. I drive this car around. Yeah. And I don't want. I can't drive it around on those because, like, like look at this. It's, they're bad. Like the into almost the entire wheel or the entire tire is just. Oh yeah. Just tr like you can see the cords, dude. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's so bad. So so bad. <laughs> yeah, there ain't much left there. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Not 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 a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well. Man. Get some, get a good drag pack on it. See That's if it'll I stick. Need. I definitely need a drag pack, big time. Yeah, they're expensive though, unless you want like Race Stars. Yeah. Well, I was talking to, I was, I talked to Race Star, and Race Star was willing to give me a pretty decent discount. Yeah, actually, really, really good discount. And I had Race Stars on this before, back in the day. Right. I had Race Stars in the rear and Greg Weld's in the back, in the front, and that was before Greg Weld, I guess, died or something. And Race Star bought the molds, but mm. um. Because the rear Greg welds would never fit over F body brakes. Oh yeah. So I like the race stars. I thought the race stars are really. I mean, they fit F bodies great. They really right. do. Right. Yeah. No, they're good. I don't. I've never heard anybody have any real problems. They're not the with lightest them. wheel. They're not the best wheel. But for the yeah. money, and I mean, their prices are going up too. They're getting expensive for yeah. a wheel. I'm like. Well, they're getting popular too because well, everybody yeah. they look they look up welds and they're like, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, welds are like crazy price. And they look up Pro Star or uh, Race Stars and they're like, oh, this is. They look just like welds, you know. Yeah pretty much so yeah i need to get front runner some skinnies and then definitely we'll be good to go and then i'll have a full set of welds on it and rock and roll but yeah the front's at the same price as the rears mm -hmm. isn't yeah. that weird oh, i know and it's like four Tack and a half wheel. inches wide yeah compared to 11 or whatever or 10 it's crazy and then you got to get them i'm probably going to get them powder coated black yeah just because i don't really like that you know they got the machine lip on them and whatnot yeah. but when i get the race stars for this it'll be a black wheel yeah get like, like dark stars wheels. yeah the dark store stars or whatever yeah I like them. that was nice. sweet i'll probably end up going race stars here like closer when season starts yeah it's just been the car's just been sitting basically yeah that's you pretty much detail <laughs> yeah you got a little bit of rubber back here so just a little bit keeps the rust off yeah these don't keeps rust, the rust anyway. off the plastic yeah exactly <laughs> the plastic weld <laughs> yeah but. Back in the day, I used to put, uh, I used to take blue tape, painter's tape, and I used to yeah. cover the whole thing with painter's tape because I hated rubber on the back. I've seen that, yeah. I hated it. And then after I got it running again, I was like, forget it. Race cars and shops. Race cars and shop. <laughs> mm. Good times. Yeah, shitty times. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my new truck? Not the Dodge, I mean. It's got dual exhaust from factory. <laughs> <laughs> I like your cute little hitch you got going on You there. like that? <laughs> <laughs> the beauty about that hitch is you can hook your trash can to it and drag it up your driveway. Yeah. That's why I have it on there. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Andy. Bye, buddy. I missed you and I love you so much. <laughs> Congratulations again on 10,000 awesome people that want to watch your channel. Thanks. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> love you, you too, buddy. Fun. All right. So we got our errands done for the day. Got everything dropped off at Westies. Got to see Andy for a minute. Had been a little while since I stopped in over there. So we got to say hi to him, show him the new truck a little bit. And it's time to head home because tomorrow I'm headed to immigration because we are doing the immigration ceremony so I can become officially an American, which is awesome. I'm going to be a dual citizen, Canadian and American. In case you guys didn't know, I am Canadian originally and I've done all my paperwork, my interviews, all that stuff's all done. Now we're just going to celebrate through the ceremony and get sworn in as an American. So very excited about that to be part of the country that I live in officially once and for all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, keep that hammer down.